Okay. I'm going to hit record now. I'm going to select Toy the Tasmanian Tiger HD now. And I shall use my Toad account now. Good day, Governor! <laughs> How's about a shrimp on the barber, yay? Jeez, everyone's gonna log off by now when they hear well, this. I was about to say, wrong country, Steve. Moving. But you definitely got it right, James. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much. But yeah, good night, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our... A live playthrough of a game that is a little near and dear to some of our hearts, and I mean, especially so considering that the fine folks at Chrome Studios managed to release an HD update for the Nintendo Switch. This is Toy the Tasmanian Tiger. Oh, a uh, their their big and their big response to the grand you know mascot platformer boom of the early two thousands. Yeah, it's one of those. One of the arrogant young hotheads that thought they could stand toe to toe against the likes of like Sonic and Crash, and to give Ty credit, out of all those posers, he's the one that lasted the longest. Yeah, I mean, he, they had a lot, they had a good, solid number of games. The music about is four of them anyway. Yeah, the, the music is pretty good in this game. In fact, um, why don't we appreciate something that the Ty games uh, usually don't delve into that often? Last I checked, uh, CG cutscenes. Just as soon as I Ooh. turn, start the game. Okay. Okay. So it all starts right out in the Outback. A glorious, glorious Outback. Funny, I've been to Outback earlier today for dinner. It actually looks just about as... I don't think it's that cold at Outback, Sean. Um, honestly, Jordy, does Outback Steakhouse really count? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I know it doesn't, but I just wanted to be funny. <gasps> oh, boy. Oh. We're, being, we're being stalked. Run. And so we have our protagonist here, the namesake, Ty. And uh, he honestly really does look like someone who tried to... Um, Try to um, fake the fake the whole idea that he could beat um Spyro, Crash, and Sonic in a fight. Yeah, I'm yeah. not gonna lie. Like in terms of character oh. design, oh, oh, oh boy. Okay, Ty, I'm in. Catch me if you can. Dang wallabies. Oh yeah. Oh, uh -oh. oh he's <laughs> damn Brad. He stays that from the beginning. Don't move, mate. I'll get help. You do that! Alright. I'm just gonna stay down here where it's nice and safe and a little damp. Dog. And I'll say, oh, and don't mind Ty's resting bitch face there with the side of his mouth. He's just usually that aggressive. That's that's what I was about to mention, that, like, something about Ty's design, particularly the way they do his mouth, that always irks me. Don't be afraid, Ty. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. I'm Andu Gilly, the Bunyip Elder. The Bunyip. Can I might? It's time you knew the truth. About what? I mean, I was just playing a game of tag with my friend not that long ago. Years ago, a great battle was fought over the fate of five mystic talismans. Okay. And grass. Oh! Oh! oh. Dang! Man. Man. Okay, so suddenly we got an Australian robo robotic gorilla out on the loose. Oh! Run by an emu. <laughs> Piloted by a bird. I don't think it's an emu. I think it's a cali, a caviar. It's something. Let me look at it real quick. But meanwhile, he is after them talismans for ultimate power. And I do. Note, oh. note to future me, turn down the volume of this because this is a little on the loud side. You mammals don't deserve to be at the top of the food chain. Yeah, he doesn't like mammals. And okay, he is a cassowary. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. And yes, the birds do look that bald in real life. But the ties, the tigers are up to you know stop him. <coughs> Careful, dear. Sorry, I think I still have some pizza crust in my throat. Ah, oh, uh, okay. Now to restore the natural once and for all. But wait, Mama Tiger here is here to save the day. Woo! Yeah, Mama Tiger two in a wall. Ha! Best. Oh uh, wait. Whoa. That ain't how the boom the boomerang always comes back. Mates, <laughs> birds on the menu again tonight. <gasps> oh boy. Or is it? The last the talisman. So, what'd that end up doing? Making a wormhole that will suck up all the Tasmanian tigers. And now with just... Uh, and now with one swell swoop, all of the Lombaxes, I mean Tasmanian tigers, have been have been vanished to another dimension. But thankfully, the, that one that's supposed to be Ty's Oops. dad, at the last second tossed out his boomerang to separate all the talismans from across the outback. So now ultimate power is... Well, they're stuck in that power realm, and if you challenge Boss Cass, you guys. trapped in the dream. It's alright. I'm dead? Word grows that Boss Cass is seeking out the talismans again. 
He must be stopped at all costts. Yeah, I guess something, something, it's some habits you die hard, huh? The yeah. Before yeah. He does. Man, guy can hold it's a grudge. Me to save my family. Boy, Ty. Oh. Are you okay? Murray? Oh, am I glad to see you. Oh, you're never gonna believe what just happened. I was playing in the forest when the ground suddenly... That's when you showed up. Oop. Sounds like you've got a fair dinkum adventure ahead of you, mate. Not that I'm into <laughs> that sort of thing. I mean, really, now. I didn't. I don't think I need to hear half of that. I tell you what. You do the adventuring, and I'll help you out where I can. And if anybody's wondering about all the Australian turns of phrases and stuff, let it be known. They are recording from the motherland. They. This is. They are head. They are located in Queensland. Yeah, uh, C well Chrome Studios done. is a largely Relocate Australian right. studio. By the way, Makes sense. Whenever you see one of these signs, I so I love the fact that, you know, similar away. to, you know, the Canadians and their, you know, bear hugger, the that they decide to, you know, do me. up what their own, means? you know, authenticity okay. for Australian lore steps. and all that with great colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I gotta say, like, so far, it's looking pretty good, if not rough around the edges. Yeah, basically, the thing with this port is that it basically is kind of like one of those HD ports you see a lot of games have. It basically, it's roughly the same game you got on the PS2 and the GameCube and whatnot, just with um, nicer looking uh, textures. I, I'm going to have to be real quick, especially since we're doing this live and I can ask. I guess I do have to ask about that, James. It's like, what, what would you say is like the primary difference between... Yeah, make, make sure to get that all done. What do you think would be the biggest, like, difference? Because no less than, like, a few... Okay, probably it was, like, four to five years before this, they did port Ty to PC and stuff, and that seemed to be a pretty decent, like, you know, high-quality port. So does this is it just really just a textural, you know, a texture overhaul for this? Uh, kind of, sort of, yeah. I mean, the fact that it's, it, it was pretty much touched up to the nth degree to even run on the system is still hey, something to be respected. No. If mm -hmm. I just reroute these Hello, wires Hello, Professor. I said good day, mate. I is death. <laughs> Are there big ears just for show? I didn't see you there. Hey, Julius. I was just making some last-minute adjustments. Well, 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 you must be Ty. Can I? <laughs> you know, I would have done that myself if you didn't already do it, do it so um, well played yeah. there, the game developers. <laughs> Good yeah, that, that is also another thing that I hear tends to separate Ty from a lot of the um, from a lot of the platformers that he's supposed to like rival in parody. Like compared to a lot of other platformer characters, Ty is actually a really kind, wholesome guy. Mm, yeah, he's, I mean, like, he's really not as attitude-filled as he might seem to be. Yeah, the grimace yeah. is just you know, I can't really do it. Nose that sniffs them out. Aha. Oh. Oh. <laughs> And I shall, I shall name it Snoot. Snoot! Speaking of big Snoots. Thunder eggs. Oh, Those are basically yeah, our stars slash jiggies, right? Can yeah. you just use batteries? I mean, that's a very <laughs> good question. Just Why don't we use just, just use batteries? Easy. It was just a you shot. See, this machine doesn't just find where the talismans are, it actually teleports them here. Wow, that will save ah, the designers. Right? Wow, that, okay. wow, that saves the designers a lot of time in programming new new hubs. So, so cool. So, uh, how is Ty here gonna find all these thunder eggs? Hey, I was just wondering that myself. A <laughs> reasonable question. I mean, hey, they ask the most logical questions here and, and tie the Tasmanian tiger. Yeah, they do. They won't just be lying all over the place. Also, terribly sorry that we don't have much in the way of commentary at the moment. I Honestly, I kind of underestimated just how loud the audio was going to be, so I'll probably have to turn that down as yeah, soon as this cutscene's over so I can actually hear myself think. No worries. It's fine, uh, and I'm actually yeah. gathering in all this information so I can refresh my memory, because it's been years since my brother played this game, and I'm trying to remember exactly when it happened. I want to say maybe I was 10 at the time. Yeah, I mean, I remember this game came out as early as, like, 2002, when, you know, the, platform, the platformer genre was just reaching, like, a... It already had its peak a little while back, but it was starting to dwindle a bit, which is kind of why these sorts of games kind of came off as obscure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes sense. So I was going to say... Oh, oh there you go. I was just going to say, yeah, like, the reason I'm not talking much is that, like, kind of similar to Jordan, I'm just taking the entire game in. However, the difference is, this is actually my first time really seeing a whole playthrough of Ty. Well, really? How far, how far did you get in the game? 
No, I, I've never played it. I've never touched it. Oh. I'm just like, I know of it. I've just never really... Out, outside of a couple of reviews, I've never seen it in action. Gotcha. Get him. I still <laughs> just, love that. Just tackle him. Koala. Oh, trust me. This, this game's chock full of that kind of um, humor. And I that is one thing I do greatly appreciate it. About oh. it. Ow. But, yeah. Uh, I guess in terms of my own experience, I have played both the first game and the second one. Um, I never actually, like, I do now own, legitimately, and on Steam, the third game. Uh, never touched it, though, because for the longest time I didn't know they made a third game. And... <laughs> oh, yeah? What about that tree? What is it? Oh. Oh. It's not there. Well, Wait, the tree's not there? No, the egg is not in the tree. Oh. oh. I mean, Real okay. <laughs> what was the point of I think the long way around, Ty. Oh, that's just him being a silly. Oh, yeah, no, again. The, the, this game's chock full of that kind of humor, and I mean, it's usually welcome. Yeah, yeah this guy's kind of like a senile old Rats. bird. Yeah, Honestly, kind of, he he, he kind crunchy. of feels like a ta he feels like a tamer Cranky Kong. That was to say, like, yeah, he's not. I wouldn't say he's senile. He's definitely like cranky crotchety though. Like, oh yeah, no, he's he's yeah. very sassy. I like his sassiness. What are you still oh, so. <laughs> what are you oh, still doing here? Yeah. I like Get that. Out. What? I just wanted to say hello, mate. Are oh. you still here? James is also going to show off that, I think... Oh, cool, a thunder egg. Well, oh, that didn't take long at all. No, I thought it looked actually kind of different at first. When I imagined not, thunder egg. And he's actually not wrong. I think there are 72 in total in the game. Well, 72 that you need. There's more than that in total. Oh. Eh, fair. Yeah, it kind of follows the Mario 64 logic of you only need, like, a chunk of the MacGuffins in order to beat the game. The rest of them are just for com for completionist's sake. Makes sense. So, in other words, if ever you die, you'll be pretty much right put right back on the porta potty Yeah, it works. Oh, dear. <laughs> Space time conundrum. continue. Conundrum. Conundrum. I think it's a load of bulldust. <laughs> so you're saying that if I have an accident, I'll end up back at one of these. <laughs> if I have an accident, bless those double meanings. <laughs> Do it all just stutter. <laughs> but uh, so while we're going through this, and there's gonna be a quite a bit of dialogue since you know this is the tutorial stage. So we got our opals, our main you know notes of the game. Yeah, they're pretty much our our, our primary collectibles, though. They don't quite hold the same kind of significance as, say, regular coins and whatnot. They're all tied to every a single stage, and the only point of them is get a, get uh, all of them and take them to a certain machine that'll spew out a thunder egg. Right. So I was thinking, like, yeah, they kind of remind me of like a little bit of like the notes in Banjo Kazooie, where you can't. They're not. They're not. They're not infinite. Like there are. Five oh yeah. Items by the way. Levels. By oh. the way, folks. Ty, Ty's not just a tiger for nothing. He's got a nice set of pearly whites. Um, yeah. It looks I'm more. Not like, gonna, it looks I'm, more like a. I, I see him doing the gnawing gesture. It sometimes looks like he's headbutting rather than actually. Okay, now it looks like a. Yeah, bite. now it looks he like he's against... actually eating them. And I was gonna say like, I, I, it's kind of like Sonic with his one. I mean, actually, now I think about it, wow, Ty has the same problem of Sonic and him have one single eyeball that is just split into two different irises. But, yeah, it's like you can tell like. Oh, uh, first, Oh boy. Because oh, I was about to say, you could tell, like, Ty's design was kind of heavily, uh, what did you say, heavily inspired by Sonic's design. Although, I, I kind of think, like, like they do have, like, a lot of similar traits, like the unified eye and the mouth on each side thing. Although, personally, I think Sonic kind of pulls it off I... a bit better than Ty's. Yeah. yeah. I will say this much, though. Uh, I'd like to give a special mention to the art, the main artist behind the Ty the Tasmanian series, uh, Space oh, Captain Steve. Man. Um, oh, yeah. he has a DeviantArt account, though. I don't think he uses that much anymore, but he used to post a lot of his stuff for Chrome Studios on his account there. I want to say he has a Twitter account or some, some equivalent to that, but I'm not entirely sure. But, I mean, he's pretty much the main, again, main guy behind these uh, these uh, games. In terms of its art direction, of course. And he also did the art for um, some of their other works, like um, Blade Kitten. Oh, nice. Unless your boss casts. Uh, was he involved in the Legend of Spyro series? I'm not entirely sure on that. Oh, that's right, Chrome did do that. Yeah, because Chrome it was the same studio that made the, the first two, anyway. Oh, well, yeah, and what we just saw, what you just saw there is that we freed off sales of Bilby. They're pretty much this game's Jinjos. We free all of them to get a Thunder Egg. Yeah, pretty much. Let's see. I know they also did... 
What else? I know they did a couple spin-off games. Um, I know they did... Oh yeah, that's right. I think they did... Didn't they do like the first Force Unleashed game? No, I don't think they did. Not that I recall. Oh, Force Unleashed. Um, You know what? I don't not, know. Not, not the main ones, but I know they did like a port of it or something. I have like a PS2 copy of it. I mean, Again, I wouldn't be surprised if they have some hand in those kinds of games. Oh yeah, by the way, true to nature of every other platforming star, Ty can't swim very well. Oh. Aww, poor boy. Look at him just boop, 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 boop. Give it time, though. He will actually learn how to swim. What are yeah. these guys? Oh, Golden Cogs. Um, You can take them over to uh, Julius later on at his uh, workshop in the Rainbow Cliffs, and he'll work up some interesting little um, gadgets that'll help you out in your quest. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we're, nice. oh, yeah, we're going to start getting to some of the more fun tech of this game that I do love remembering. 300 opals, then took them to Julius's opal machine. Yeah. Julius's opal machine? And he ended up with a thunder egg. So there you have it. I do like that all. I do like that all of these like tutorial tips are just about like yeah. Okay, a buddy of mine once told me that his hat like they're just rumors. I mean, honestly, honestly, freaking crap. What was it? Uh, Maurice is literally like the the epitome of your typical middle aged middle aged bloke that has a lot of stories to tell. Yeah. Good old morning. Oh. Uh, honestly, he feels like the like that kind of bloke that would be at a bar telling all sorts of crazy stories. Kangaroos. God dang kangaroos. You just get you make you make one movie about them, and now they think they're at all hot shit in this place. Oh yeah, this was around the same time that Kangaroo Jack came into the scene. Actually, I just made the. Actually, I was going in an opposite direction. I was going to be like, because of that movie, people don't respect them much, and it got them all riled up. Oh well, either ah! way, the dang movie is to blame. Ooh. Die. Oh yeah. By the way, as you can see, like, uh, they're they're not they're not gonna let up on the cartoon violence. Oh, absolutely not. Nope. Like, there's there's, there's plenty of that to go around. When I was a lad, there was this kid. <laughs> when I was a lad, Toothy Malone. Oh, oh. A dozen pies in less than a minute. Dang! He must have had some big munchers. That's a lot of pies! So, uh, yeah, this is a nice little kind of like homing attack puzzle, kind of. Yeah, it basically is like a slower homing attack. And I think it's probably, like, the most that they really ever do to really extend your biting abilities, aside from, you know, biting onto crates or, you know, oh, literally chewing out an enemy's innards or no, what, no, whatnot. Here, here, show them how you bite the sand. Oh, The okay. sand? You, no, I mean, you're jumping and you just... Oh, oh, let me oh, try that again. Ow. Oh. Ew. Yeah, that's sand, that's... I'll teach him. Anyway. But, oh, you know, that's quirky. the last time I ever listen, listen to Maurice whenever he tells me to eat that. It's like a crocky. I think that was some of the yellow sand there. Ew, no! no! Gross! What's sad is you can't even tell the difference sometimes. Not Still, here. ew! But, uh, how does the game feel, at least on this? I remember when I pl first played it, sometimes no. some of the jumps would feel a little floaty. Um, the jumps in this game, well, you get a lot of hype from them, I'll say that much, but, um... It's a little perky jerk, a little something to get used to, but there's also one thing that I remember about Ty that's a little weird. Watch what happens as I jump and turn the camera. Okay. Or, you know, or, you know no, no, it's, it's like, okay, that's that's what it was. Like, I I don't know, it's it's a really weird little thing, quirk that this game has. It's a little hard to explain, but sometimes... Actually, it's like it, a game feel thing, like it feels something like not... Something doesn't feel quite one-to-one -one there. I feel it's a little more noticeable whenever once you get your once you get your second uh, boomerang and the ability that comes along with it. Um, I know for like fact. I know for a fact it got frustrating for me whenever, like, say there were tall, narrow platforms I had to jump up, like you know, pillars to jump up something, and I'd be at the base trying to land on the top of it, but I would always just kind of jump around the edge of it without actually landing on the top. That's where I noticed it would be a little frustrating, but oh, fortunately the game. I gotta fortunately, get, the game get the shrimp off the bobby. Ha. They're not all teensy speed. Yeah, four chains on it. Hey, Julius. This just might do. Do what? Hello, Julius. Oh, hello, Ty. You, you know this golden cog just might be perfect for my latest invention. Why is it? The cogulacious boom rangorous extrapolator. Okay. Oh, the microwave. Yeah, no, we could use a microwave around here. <laughs> techno rings. Very funny, Ty. The techno rings. That's a, yeah. That's that's one of the cool new mechanics. Is are uh, that we don't quite get like base attack ups. We just get different kinds of them. 
yeah, different kinds of boomerangs, each with their own unique effects. All right. Uh, and I we mean, need there 15 are definitely of these some that be, Uh, 15 of them. Okay. They're really not that hard to find if you know where to look. Oh, boy. Uh, and I like it. I In that sense, I like that this game kind of takes some elements from, uh... There we go. I like this game kind of takes some elements from uh, freaking uh, Ratchet and Clank with the variety of weapons you can get if you go as far oh, as you yeah. unlock them all. Mm -hmm. I will admit, though, that the, there are some boomerang types that are a little better than others and some that are pretty situational. Like, I think the first uh, type of boomerang, or techno, or excuse me, um, what do they call them again? Techno 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 get yeah, is techno a, um, I think he calls it the zoomerang, which is basically, a, it's a boot. A, Oh, can't do that just yet. Not yeah, yet. I need to come back once I get my second boomerang. But um, anyway, uh, once you get the boomerang, uh, basically it's like uh, it's like a, it's a, it's literally the boomerang equivalent of a sniper rifle. Yeah, mm -hmm. which it's can... it's good it's good it's good for the sake of you know find, getting um biting you know nicking targets from from farther reaches, but otherwise it's not much much practical anywhere else. Mm. So we got a lock on with the ZR button. For enemies? Which is honestly something I don't use that often in this game, because really most enemies go down like in two, one or two hits flat. And, your uh, boomerang, okay. and, and they do a pretty solid job of letting your boomerang home in onto things you're looking at. Oh yeah. Makes it really satisfying, especially once we get our second one. Ah, Alright, five cogs. There you go. Which, oh, oh, I saw oh, that. Oh, didn't realize you were back down there. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. I missed. <laughs> I'll get ya. Dang. No. Let me see if I can get back. Yeah, I can't get back. Now nah, we gotta go back around the little way. Yeah. Oh, but oh wait, oh, I, oh, wait, I, I see that green, yeah, there was a glory green thing, there. thing down there. But I can't do anything about it because again, can't swim all that well. Oh, oh right. Right. Right, right, right. I'll be back for you later. Well, actually no, because honestly, it's not that. It's nothing special. It's just an extra life. Oh, oh, okay. oh that's right. There are lives in this one. Mm -hmm. I didn't think I would have that in the sequel. Ow. Owie. For good reason. I like how they turn super flat once you defeat them. Depending on how you do, yeah. Dang it. Oh, you think you gotta jump? Oh, nice. Oh, you usually, I. That's another thing I usually struggle with is that when you start dog paddling, dang, your, your, dang. your jump out of the water becomes pretty pitiful. Oh, yeah. It, it, you're, kind of, you're kind of a um, sitting duck while in the water before you. Again, you learn how to swim. Because, you know, not many platformers let you do that. Nope. For some reason. No. Remember that one time that Sonic actually learned how to actually maneuver underwater relatively okay? And then that power was just suddenly taken away from him too early? Oh, the bubble yeah, shield like... thingy? No, the, um... The colors. Infinite jumping. Oh, yeah. right, 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 right. From Sonic Colors? Yeah, yeah. wonder why they got rid of that. I think, it, I guess, they, they thought it was, it just made the, those sections too easy. Probably. Yeah. You know, I kind of find that a little horse car. Oh, but wait! Look! A second boom right that looks like, it looks eerily similar to the one we already have. Excalibur! Bye. And it's just like, you are now king of the outback, and you're like, I never wanted that, but... What? Oh, right. Yeah, well, yeah no we did. To sit around and feel all pleased with yourself. You're gonna have to put that new ring to use. Gladly. Well, I had a thunder egg I was gonna give you. Who gave it? Oh. it. Oh, yeah. you guys. Oh, yeah, so um, I guess I forgot to mention that even though it's pretty much been obvious from the gameplay we've been um, experiencing up to this point, our main enemy, our main source of um, mooks in this game are primarily frill lizards. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and James showed off a little peek there. Getting the second boomerang is actually pretty intensive. Ooh, I like how you can glide with those. How exactly you can glide, we're not sure, but Wings. it's handy. Aerodynamics, bitches. Also, we can now take out twice as many frills in record time now. Yeah. Like so. And it's Woo! really, and I, and I don't know why, like, especially once I get the second boomerang, combat is pretty satisfying to just rack people up, especially depending on which techno rings you get. Like, oh, I love Oh, yeah, no, it pretty much runs under the spiral effect where you're, where you don't have that many, you don't have that much variety when it comes to fighting, fending off against moves, but at the same time, it's, it's one of those sort of short and sweet sort of experiences. Like right. Mm -hmm. I'll be, I'll and they be. don't, and they don't overdo it, thankfully. Oh, yeah, no, thank goodness. I'll be right back. Alrighty. Okay. But uh, will this be? But I think we mentioned this uh, off camera. But just to reiterate, I don't think we're going for 100 percent, right? No, that would take way too long, and I honestly didn't have the patience to do that on my base playthrough. So I'm not going to do that. Either. Fair I think enough. the most that you get is like a get is a, a, a secret ending that actually doesn't correlate to anything else the tie series actually does. Oh yeah, yeah they retconned it. Yeah. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. okay. 
Then press and hold jump again to start gliding. Right. Is that safe? <laughs> is that safe? Safe as houses? Safe as houses. <laughs> oh, dear. oh, Maurice. Maurice. You cracked me up. I thought it was Marie. Oh, there you go. Whoop. You oh, yeah, by the way, get used to Ty saying, saying such quotes like that. That's pretty much the majority of his dialogue for this game, and it's probably the one thing I don't really like about the character, the fact that he really is just one of... He literally is just a, a chattering um, uh, record box. Mm. I mean, it's okay. It doesn't bother me too much. It gets the job done. I'd like to believe that later games kind of fix upon that issue, but otherwise, yeah, he's... As far as, you know... 3D platforming protagonist. He's not exactly the most rich in personality. Alright. Also, I've never heard that phrase before. Gas bagging. I've never heard that myself. I'm pretty sure it is Australian slang. Like, they like to throw a lot of that in this game for obvious reasons. Mm -hmm. Oh, those are interesting looking mushrooms. I mean, are they... Is it... Is it safe that they're green on top, or...? Don't know. Well, let's try it out. Oh, hello. We're just... We're suddenly at the start again. Uh, I guess what? it isn't. Awful convenient. Yeah, those are pretty much your, those are pretty much your little warp points that take you back to the start of the little level. Oh, okay, that's what it is. All right, that also makes sense. Also, convenient because uh, we got ourselves a time attack to take care of. Uh oh. Good luck. Thankfully, though, the for the most part, these aren't really all that strenuous. Like you just have, you usually just have to go through like an like a whole string of rings in a certain in a lot of time, and well, then you get a thunder egg for your troubles. Oh, okay. There are going to be times that late, there are going to be um, later levels that actually do add an additional gimmick to them. Like you have to race against another bloke, or um, that's pretty. Honestly, that's the, that's the majority of it. Like you usually race another bloke, and there's always an addition, another thing that they do. Like one one of them is on a on a skate or surfboard, and another one you're literally doing a swimming race against. Stuff of the sort. Gotcha. Not much more to it than that. Makes sense. <laughs> um, you know, I've, a part of me is curious to see what it's like to see a, a majestic Evu with the case of the belly aches run literally as fast as Speedy Gonzalez. I know. Clear on, Roy. You make a clear path, Roy. I've been holding you in for too long. <laughs> <laughs> now we could do more, do more with this level, but honestly, we're already kind of stretching for time at the moment. So let's just go ahead and uh, end the level and be on our way. Alrighty. There's pl there is pl still plenty more that can be done with this game, but you know, like I said, we're not doing 100% playthrough, and I mean, I'd like to hope hope that I'll get enough um, thunder eggs to beat the game. I found it. Let me see. Oh look, for General Frill Lizard uh, Bill finally got a talisman. By the way, I'm not kidding. That Frill Lizard was voiced by Bill Farmer himself. Really? They did get a few uh, notable actors for this game, but like they only serve like small roles. Like you got the Frill Lizard voiced by Goofy, and um, hang on, let me look at some of these. I know like the Blue Lizard is later voiced by um, Launchpad and the Quack. Oh. Let me look these up, actually. Alrighty. As we warp ourselves over to Rainbow Cliffs, I do believe, um, honestly, yeah, cause it's nearly a half hour now, so I do think now is a very good time for us to go ahead and call it apart. Yeah. Good idea. So on that note, folks, uh, see you all for the next part as we uh, take a trip down to the beach and also a rainforest. Alright, see you guys. Till next time, everybody. Cool.